Hey guys, this is Chris Buffa, and I'm joined by John Benjamin. We're from Modojo, and we have an iPhone 5C and an iPhone 5S. So you've been using the 5S, uh, the gold one, in fact, which is the hot iPhone right now, for about yes. a week and a half. So what do you think? Yeah, I'm really digging it. I mean, first of all, it looks gorgeous. So yeah, we did get the gold one. Um, really nice style to it. It's an understated gold, so it looks really good. But if I'm looking at the features, you know, I'm an iPhone user. I've used it since the original. So I, I always love upgrading and seeing the quicker phone, the quicker processor. Uh, this one has the A7 with an M7 motion chip. So that's new uh, to this. So the iPhone 5S, this is the fastest phone that Apple's ever come out with. So for gaming, you know, with IB3 or Angry Birds Star Wars 2, you know, this is the phone you want to you wanna use. Um, but there are a bunch of other features. So one of them that was really interesting was the fingerprint feature. Yep. So it really is as easy as clicking it on, you know, with your thumb and then just holding it on for a second and boom, it unlocks your phone. You don't have to enter a passcode or anything like that. Nice and easy. Uh, but one thing that was really surprising to me and really convenient was going into the app store. And if I wanted to buy an app, usually you have to add your, you know, you have to enter your password. And Every time, like that. sure. Every time it gets kind of annoying. Here now, when you click install or when you click purchase, now you just have to scan your thumbprint or any fingerprint. And um, yeah, it unlocks the ability to buy the app. So cool. it makes it much quicker. Um, I know Apple is trying to do that with all your passwords. Mm -hmm. So it ties into that. So maybe in the future, you know, any password that you're, you're asked for, you just have to use your thumbprint. But for now, very convenient to unlock your phone, secure your phone, and also make purchases on, on the App Store. So that's cool. Um, another feature that was really nice was the slow-mo camera. So we do have a, a, another video that's focusing just on the slow-mo, uh, you know, camera coming out. But it is as simple as going to the camera app and just swiping a couple times and you'll see a slow-mo feature on, on the camera itself. Sure. So what it does, it starts recording at 120 frames a second. And then when you want to slow it down, you can actually, by dragging your finger, you can designate where you want the slowdown to occur, the slow motion to occur. And yeah, we have a couple of, of examples here just showing that off. And it's like a gorgeous slow motion. It's not stuttering or anything. It's nice and smooth. It makes for very funny videos, very cool action-packed videos. You know, if you're recording folks, uh, you know, playing sports or whatever, it just looks really professional. Cool. So very impressed by that stuff. And yeah, obviously the speed of it, just um, this is the phone to have, especially if you like iOS 7 uh, or iOS, it's, it's perfect. It's a very awesome looking phone. Yeah, so uh, you have the 5C. Yeah, I do. So uh, I was a 4S user, and I'm also a sucker for colors. So when Apple came out with a line of the different colors with the phone, I had to jump. Uh, as you can see, I have the yellow phone paired it with the blue case. At first, I was a little hesitant to go with this case with you know all the different holes. But once I saw how the color shines through, uh, I just fell in love with it. Definitely grew on me. Um, yeah, as a 4S user, uh, the bump in size of the screen felt significant to me. Now, obviously, people who use Android phones, you know, a four inch screen, you know, they're like, oh, well, we have five inch screens or whatnot. But for me, it made a huge difference. Uh, also, you know, just the speed of it, battery life uh, was tops, in my opinion. I downloaded iOS 7 to the 4S. It just seemed like it drained the battery uh, too much. But here, Apple did a wonderful job just pairing, you know, the new software with, with the hardware. And, you know, I took this little guy on vacation, and although I had the 4G LTE uh, turned off, uh, took photos, listened to music, played games, only had to charge it once, and it was on the way home. So I'm a very satisfied 5C user. Nice. Again, $99 for the 16 gig with a contract is great. And if you want to bump it up to an extra 100 with the 32 gig for that extra space, you can't go wrong there either. Uh, so. And you have that case uh, along with it, so that's pretty cool. Um, is that plastic? You know, the phone, you know, it was, I was afraid it was going to, the phone itself was going to feel plasticky, but it feels, you know, more ceramic. Uh, you know, this feels more like an acrylic, like it's not a hard plastic. It doesn't slip out of my hands. It has sure. a good grip on it. Uh, overall, you know, two high quality products. Um, sure. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Enjoying it. So there you have it. This is the iPhone 5C and the 5S. For more info, please head over to modoja.com.